Hello everybody, so Calthero here, welcome back to another video of American Truck Simulator. It's been a little while since I've recorded some American Truck Simulator, so I thought I'd give it a go today. I'm uh, going to be taking out my brand new Volvo V and L truck that I just picked up and got uh, finished uh, picking up or picking up and uh, building to spec how I wanted it. Did something a little different than doing the uh, all black truck that I uh, typically go with. I wanted to do something different too. I have done all the missions for Kansas, the uh, little cruising Kansas event, so you can see it up there. I've uh, already completed that, but I wanted to revisit another state that I love uh, going to all the time. So we're in Washington today. We're actually in Spokane, Washington, and we're picking up these. Um, I mean, from the front, they look like Ford Expeditions, but from the rear, they look like uh, Chevy Suburbans or Chevy Tahoes. So I guess we'll say of Ford Tahoe. I, I, I don't know what I would call it, but um, we're picking these up today. I guess it's called Caliber or something like that. And uh, we're taking them to Kennewick. Yeah, we're going to take them to the rail export. So it looks like they're going to be going uh, to uh, another state here. And they just need us to take it to the train. So not going to be too long of a drive here. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'll fire up the truck from out here. Sounds pretty good. We got a nice, strong, healthy, brand new motor in here. In fact, I didn't even change my display to see what I prefer to have it at. Um... Honestly, I don't know. That's a fuel range, typically. Uh, we'll just keep it on the fuel range one there. The fuel economy for now. Uh, no track IR on this one. I know uh, some of you say that it gives you a headache with the camera shaking around like this from my head. But um, I just I didn't feel like putting my hat on and I didn't feel like uh, turning it on and making sure it works. But here's the inside of my truck here. Got our uh, little teddy bear in the back there. Uh, Got a nice flat screen in it. I haven't even looked in here yet. Nice uh, window up top there, like a sunroof. And then uh, I got my dream catcher up there and some water and my overnight bag. So yeah, we're uh, ready to go here. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get going here. Uh, let's go ahead and just make sure we're not gonna hit those cars as we pull out here. And make sure we don't run into anybody pulling out. Turn left. We look good, all right. So yeah, I wanted to, uh, if you couldn't tell from the title, I did want to discuss the uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer that just came out uh, about two days ago from when I'm recording this. But this will probably come out like a, uh, oh, today's Wednesday, so it, this probably won't come out until next week. I'll try to push some other video back a little ways, but yeah, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I didn't want to do a total trailer breakdown of like you miss this stuff or did you see this kind of things i was like i to be brutally honest i've seen at least six or seven videos online already about that stuff and totally no bias here but um if you haven't seen one yet you need to go watch jeff's because that just jeff goes into so much detail and he catches so much um little snippets of things here and there for information to give you guys and i mean his video is an hour long like you gotta watch it he's just all the little meticulous things that you can find uh in the trailer he's found it i would say um so yeah i would strongly recommend if you haven't seen one of those you should go watch jeff's because this is a really good breakdown of the trailer and a lot of like little snippets of Easter eggs and whatnot and things that you can look at to kind of get an idea of the, about the map. So I didn't want to do that with you guys. It's kind of weird to be doing American Truck Sim. You think I'd be doing LSPDFR or something, something to go hand in hand with GTA, but wanted to drive a truck today. So it is what it is. And when I saw that I could drive uh, or I could trailer some cars i wanted to take some cars too so going that route go ahead and get over because speed limit's 60 and i'm doing 65 this is a external contract too so i'm capped out at 65 which is okay because i'm driving for um northern logistics as well uh, northern alex is a trucking company so we are trying not to be doing a race here we're trying to be legit with our driving we're not convoying either, so I'm not going to be outlaw trucking if that's what you're looking for, like in the convoys. We're just taking it easy, enjoying the game, and enjoying the some trucking here, and checking out Washington. 
But uh, yeah, I'll touch back on the GTA 6 uh, trailer here in a little bit with my thoughts. But obviously, I wanted to talk about this game too because look at the skybox in the game. Just the clouds and everything. It is so amazing with the new update that they came out with. Not just the Kansas DLC, but this update that had a lot of attention and focus on the skybox. Like, I've done... Like I said, I did all the Kansas runs so I can uh, complete that event. And there was a lot of rain. There was thunder and lightning. I wish I was recording when that was going on because the lightning looks really cool and the thunder sounds great. And it was just, it, they, SCS really outdid themselves with this skybox. I'm really impressed with what they did there. I will say though, after watching right. Jeff's video as well, we really need to focus some attention on the AI. The AI is gotten pretty bad and it's just, I don't want to say they're getting worse. I just want to say that it's more noticeable that you can just tell when the AI is driving like complete asses and they could probably use a rework to them as well. So just putting that out there, not, not trying to complain about it but at the same time like it's something that i i love the skybox i love the details that they've been coming out with that like the windows rolling up and down the sound update they did in the past the skybox update the additional trucks the states let alone let's talk about the, all the states they've been doing too but kind of hoping that at some point they can address the ai driving into you constantly because it feels like they're in robot mode and they don't really consider when somebody is like in the next lane of travel to go, oh, you know what? I should slow down or I should speed up. So it'd be kind of nice if they could do something with that too. I don't know if it's possible or not from a game developing standpoint, but if it is, I, I sure hope it is. It'd be great to see some changes in that route too in the future for this game. But uh, yeah, wanted to talk about the GTA 6 trailer. Obviously, I saw it when it premiered, and it really does suck that it got leaked. I feel bad for Rockstar because that I, again, some people say it was staged and they intentionally did that so they can leak it early. I I don't know. I honestly don't know. I if it was staged, so be it. If it wasn't staged, like I think it wasn't staged, that still sucks. Uh, they've been this game has been leaked with all the gameplay footage of them like working on it the this trailer gets leaked it's like they just can't catch a break with people stealing their stuff and i i get that but i do feel bad for him but man was that trailer not amazing to have tom petty song on there too of all songs to have it just captures all the other gta trailer videos that they've done in the past where they like they really capture the essence of where they're trying to have their uh, their game be at. Just like with um, GTA 5, they had a lot of like California feeling songs on there. It's no different with uh, GTA 6 with the Vice City ones going on there for uh, Florida. So it's really cool. And then I know I'm going to get hate, hated on for this, but there are things in the trailer that I think people are getting a little too excited for that I, I'm i trying to reserve my excitement because I don't want to be disappointed in it. Like a lot of people are like, it's going to be so cool. You can like wave around in your car and you can do this and you can do that. And I just want to be like, you know, the, in the trailer, I want to say a lot of that stuff was a cutscene, like a cinema. I'm not saying it's not gameplay, but looking at the stuff that I'm seeing and all the motions and the actions that are going on from a development standpoint, that seems like a pretty hard thing to do using key bindings or in the case of what they said, because I, I think they said that it was just coming to consoles uh, in 2025 when it releases. I don't think they've mentioned anything about a PC release date yet, which I'm not surprised they did the same thing with GTA 5 and they did the same thing with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. They came out on console first and then they uh, they came out with the uh, PC version shortly turn after left. that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do that in this case too, which it sounds like I'm buying a PlayStation 5 most likely because <laughs> I don't want to miss out. It's going to be an amazing game, but 
I'm just kind of, I'm really excited for it. Don't get me wrong. And I was really impressed with the trailer. There's just some things in the trailer that I saw that I was like, there's just no way that's gameplay footage. And a lot of it feels like it was cut scenes more than anything. But again, I could be wrong. I could not be wrong. There's a lot of features and things going on in the game where I'm just like, this just doesn't seem like you can map that to a controller button. But again, just my thoughts on it. But yeah, looking really forward to it, I must say. And I know this video is going to be a shorter video, and I I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be um, too long of a video because I didn't want to harp on it. And I really only had the GTA 6 trailer to talk about, and I really wanted to talk to you guys about it. So that's the reason why we did uh, what we did here. I may even, you know what? I didn't even grab a screenshot. Maybe we'll do a second run here. Let me see here. Maybe I could do a second short run here. So yeah, that says it took about 15 minutes to get here, so that was not far at all. Let's see what kind of jobs we have. All right, so this is actually not going to be a shorter video like I was thinking it was going to be. It'll be not long, but it, I'll try to cut it down to where it's not too long. I found a, another external contract here that takes a uh, harvester, like a forger harvester. It's right there, in fact, and it's in the same lot that I'm in, which is pretty cool. It takes it up to Colville, uh, Washington. So I figured we'd pick this up and uh, we can continue hanging out and checking out this game and talking about uh, the uh, GTA 6 trailer a little bit just because I didn't want to take too long. But at the same time, I feel like I didn't really have that long of a video for you guys here too. Let me see if we can get a 20 or 30 minute video out of this. There we go. Let's do this. Let it snap over because that's how that's the setting I have because I'm no good at uh, trailer pickups amongst other things here. You know what? I just realized I bought this truck and I have not adjusted the mirrors yet. I'm just kind of rolling with it right now. So <laughs> good to know. I adjust the seats and forgot the mirrors. So how far is this? This is 154 miles. So yeah, this won't be too long. But uh, yeah, I, I'm very impressed with the trailer. The game looks absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. I'm not saying that everything that was in the trailer was a cut scene or wasn't um, something that is probably going to be in the game. Like, I'll tell you right now, looking at the physics of the hair and of the character's movements, that's definitely something that you'll see in the game. That's not just cut scene material. And... They did a great job on making that feel more lifelike. I was very blown away in the trailer, seeing hair wave around in the wind, and we'll call it dancing on cars, because I'm not gonna say what it really was, but it, it definitely was a, you could definitely tell there was a lot of movement in there to feel more lifelike than a, a video game. Let's just say, it. we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, it looks really good, and I'm really hopeful that the game is uh, as great as I'm hoping it to be and everybody else is making it out to be. But like I said, I reserve judgment on a few things where, like, you know what? I wasn't going to try to spoil it, but let's be honest. The video right now, as of today, has 114 million views. It's been out for two days. That has got to be a record. And I think um, somebody did mention it's a record for YouTube for like most views within like a certain amount of time. But um, so, yeah, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You should have seen it already. It's a minute and 30 seconds long. But uh, yeah, just like the details that they have in there with the hair waving and oh, I got to pull in for a vehicle inspection and um, the movement of the characters and whatnot is just absolutely amazing but at the same time yeah. like scenes like the um well like they show like a weasel news point of view like it looks like it's a news choppers point of view like with the turned over car accident and then the uh dirt bikers fleeing from the cops and like some of the social media posts look and stuff where it looks like somebody's like live streaming on their Oh, I know it's not Instagram on there. I forget what it's called, but their version of the uh, Instagram basically. And um, you can tell that's that's gonna be a cutscene. Like there's just there's no way that's like gameplay footage. But 
and it's probably like a cutscene for like a mission. So like, yeah, it, it's not the gameplay, but is it bad? No, it's not bad. It's still pretty cool. All right, I got to cut that dude off because this lane is tiny and it's going to end on me real fast here. Oh, we might get some rain actually looking at this skybox. Looking at it as well, um, I'm going to grab a screenshot real quick and then uh, I'll be right back with you guys here. And we are back. I got my screenshot and that'll be pretty cool. It might throw you guys off a little bit. In the beginning of the video, you see I'm towing cars and then all of a sudden in the screenshot, you're going to see I have this uh, harvester behind me. <laughs> so that's the reason why. Uh, cause we ended up doing two, uh, two runs on the, uh, truck here, but yeah, really liked what I saw out of the GTA six trailer looked really impressive. There's a lot of new features that I've already got a good feeling that are going to be in the game. And from again, the leaked video footage that, um, was leaked of them doing the development on the game and testing features and whatnot. I can already tell there's stuff from red dead redemption Two. That's going to be in it, which I'm actually really glad it is because this is like one of the things I loved about Red Dead Redemption 2 is the importance of your horse. But you couldn't just like in prior GTA games, pull an RPG out of your ass and then an assault rifle to start fighting and shoot people like you actually have to like carry it with you. It, it acts as like a prop attached to the character. So like for those of you that haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2 again, I don't know why, but um, <laughs> You will holster your six shooter on both sides so you have two guns there and then you can carry a rifle with you and then you can like sling another one over your other arm so you can carry up to like four weapons basically like you could sling a rifle and a shotgun over your shoulders and then you can um you can pull out your two uh, six shooters or your handguns or whatever you're using to fight with those and if you wanted to change out the rifle or the shotgun or even the handguns you had to go to your horse and switch it because it was in your saddlebag which is a little small detail but a very cool one to make it feel a little more real and from the leak footage i saw of gta 6 you can kind of see that they already started doing this same concept when he's i i mean i'm not going to link the video and they always take down the videos anyways for um the leaked uh dev footage but you can kind of see where they have i I forget the main character well one of the main characters names i think his name is jason i could be wrong but um he has an m16 or some sort of assault rifle basically and um yeah i know there's somebody there i'm trying to get over though okay it's happening anyway sorry dude sorry cadillac appreciate you letting me over though i'll hit you with the flashers for the appreciation yeah thank you but um, you can see when he's shooting the rifle, he slings it over one of his shoulders when he takes out his handgun. And I think he pulls the handgun out from his waistband. So that's pretty cool. It's one of those little details that just makes it feel a little more real that I know a lot of people don't want because they're just like, oh, that's stupid. It's a video game. You should just let them pull it out of their ass kind of stuff. But I don't know. It's one of those things I see and I'm just like, hey, that's off to you. That's pretty cool. It's nice to uh, get a little more realism with it. Speaking of hats off, the accessories that you see in the trailer, my goodness, you can see all the different sunglasses, all the different colors and tints to the sunglasses, um, the jewelry you can see differently, the ear piercings, like just everything is, uh, the watches, everything has such a variety. I cannot wait until the online portion of the game. If it's like GTA 5, the online portion took like a month to come out on. I was playing on Xbox 360 when I first started playing GTA 5. Um, I played the story mode for the first month and then GTA Online came out a month after that. And um, I'm hoping online is available right away, which if it is, I might be screwed. I love the story because if it's going to be Bonnie and Clyde, like it's been said to be i really love that story that's gonna be pretty cool but um i'm gonna want to play online too so oh, a, a lot of my time is gonna be occupied it sounds like with it but anyways going back to it though too like it's the story is gonna be pretty cool i like the idea of the story i like the characters that they have in there already all the accessories that you get are really cool from what you can see in the trailer so i can only imagine for gta online 
or whatever they're going to call it for six or if it's just going to adapt into the five one i don't know i have no idea they haven't said anything yet um it'll be really cool to see what you can make for your own character and the customization you can get now a lot of people have said um from the leak videos too that you could s adjust pedals and like steering wheels and whatnot for like your different characters as a car customization uh from a vehicle development standpoint of myself doing just mods and whatnot i'm going to bet that is not a feature in the game Keep right and then but uh, again right. like i said before i could be wrong so my take on why you saw that in the dev footage where all of a sudden the foot pedals were going forward and backwards and the steering wheel was moving forward and backwards was not a feature in the game. I think it was a testing feature that they were using to judge where they needed to position them in order to put the player's hands or the character's hands properly on the steering wheel. In Z Modeler, we just get a, a square dummy that says like seat position, whatever for the driver and passenger and it basically places them on coordinates based uh that it pulls from the meta file and i'm pretty on. sure this is going to be the same concept in gta 6 but what you see in that dev leak footage of them like adjusting the steering wheel and the and the pedals isn't a feature where you can adjust it to your character it was them adjusting it on the fly to make it easier for them to place the the assets where they wanted them to be so that when the character's sitting in the car they sit correctly but yeah that's just my take on it again i could down. be wrong i don't know it, it could be a feature but just from doing vehicle mods for gta 5 and gta 4 and what it entails it's something that i had to use personally myself to get the hands on the steering wheel position correctly so again that's how I look at it. However, it could be a feature in the game. The other thing I'm curious about, too, and you see it all through the trailer, is, like, um, characters' height and weight. You can tell there's characters that are a little bit on the thicker side, and then there's characters that have been working out, and they're toned as hell. And then you see some characters that are pretty tall and other characters that are short. Like, it's pretty cool to see all the differences between the different characters to lend a better aspect of like everybody is different in the world it's not every character is the same height uh same weight same this same that like there's a lot of variety in there so i i'm really glad to see that in the trailer and i'm pretty sure that's something that's going to be uh moved over to a like an actual Go thing within on. the game where you're going to be able to pick that kind of stuff now, if it has a system in it, like GTA San Andreas, like if you ate too much and you didn't work out, um, you would your character would get fat. And then if you worked out a lot, you would actually tone up and be really muscular and you'd like one hit punch people and knock them out. Like that's a different story. I don't know if that's going to be a thing in the game or not, but looking at what they have for the variety of characters like that, I would venture to say that that's going to be a feature in the gta 6 game that's going to be pretty cool to have and make the world again feel even more alive with all of that going on so yeah um of course being the vehicle dev dude for gta 5 what did i love most about the trailer the vehicles yeah shocker right i mean that was probably the thing that stood out the most for me i'm looking at all the cars going well what cars are in here and i'm happy to say i mean i know a lot of people are disappointed and i'm i'm not really disappointed i wasn't shocked we'll say that but like a lot of people are like well that's just a vehicle from gta 5. yeah it is but it's nice to see that it's mimicking the same cars that are already available in gta 5 and they're moving them to gta 6 like yeah, the fister comment and to be honest, this isn't anything new for Rockstar. They've been doing this for a while. So in GTA 3, um, just as an example, oh, I'm going to miss my turn. I didn't realize it was a dirt road here. Makes sense, though. I'm going to a farm or a ranch. This is pretty cool, actually. Like in this vegetation and this look. Um, but in GTA 3, for example, the uh, Sentinel is a vehicle that's in there. For those of you that haven't played GTA 3, the Sentinel is a little sedan it was owned by one of the mafia gangs i can't remember which one now and it had like these black louvers in the back it was a two-door sedan 
I want to say it could have been a four door. I could be wrong. Um, not two door sedan. Sorry, it's two door coupe. Where's this road go? Is it here? This looks weird on my GPS. But um, it's actually really cool. I like being out here on this farm. This is pretty neat looking. But um, that car is in GTA 3. I think it's in GTA 4 too, but I could be wrong. But with some changes, and it's in GTA 5. It's it mimics a um, BMW, I believe, is what it's supposed to be after. Um, the fact uh, Michael's wife is the one that has one. One of the characters that has it in the story is Michael's uh, wife. She has a red one, I believe, is what it was. It's been a while since I played the story for GTA 5, so I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. And it's totally cool. It, it changed, obviously, from GTA 3 to GTA 5. So I'm seeing a car go from GTA 5 to GTA 6. I'm not opposed to it. Man, these are really big. I need to take it easy. I, like, launched my truck on that one. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculously high. There we go. But yeah, I'm not disappointed in seeing it. I love seeing some of the updates, though. Like, the, uh, you can definitely tell the stain years in there. And if for those of you that don't know what a stain year is, that's considered a, uh, the GTA version of a Crown Vic. And it's definitely changed from the GTA 5 one. I would say the GTA 5 one was based on the uh, mid to late 90s version of the Crown Victoria from Ford. And the one that you see in the GTA 6 trailer, both as a, uh, uh, I think it was donked out, the one I saw in the, like, little, um, like, kind of the hangout area that you see a bunch of people just hanging out. And there's a bunch of other donk vehicles, too. But you can see one slightly in that part of the trailer, and as well as you can see the cop car version one where it's a sheriff's cruiser just, uh, rolling a Code 3 right by the main characters. That um, that definitely looks more like a 2011-ish, like the last final year of the uh, Ford Crown Victoria, where it's a little more, like the back end isn't so sleek and slim, like with the tail lights and the trunk and whatnot. It's more bubbly and bigger looking, like the uh, 2011 uh, Crown Vicks uh, look like. So, I will say, yeah, they have some cars in there that are from GTA 5, but then there's some like that one where you can tell they've. Uh, made some changes to it to mimic more of a uh, more modern look before i'm pretty sure i'm gonna miss this yep i'm gonna miss this on my first try let's get out and look oh i might be okay gonna depend right here let's crank this wheel i wasn't expecting to back this up i thought this was gonna be one of those ones where you just um you just pull it in I'm definitely missing this. Uh, it would have helped if I adjusted my mirror. It's still going okay. It's going okay for a second setup. I'm definitely not going to make it on this one. All right, we don't want to hit that. So let's go back out. I just cut the wheel a little too hard. There we go. Second try is the one for us. I'm hoping anyways. I'm hoping it's not third time to charm here. So yeah, looking forward to GTA 6 just like every other gamer in the world I think right now. A lot of people watch that trailer. Has a lot of comments. I think there's like 727,000 comments right now I want to say is what I saw last. I've been, I've been going back to it just to look at the stats of how much it's uh, growing as far as viewership goes like i watched rockstar subscriber base and i think it jumped like over a million subscribers more in just the one day all right let's go ahead and kill our truck and get out and look here perfect all right let's go ahead and unhook from here and we'll see how it uh how we did on this run here yeah 30 minutes 31 minutes a little bit longer video so Hope you guys enjoy that. Try not to go too long other than the uh, flight simulator ones if you guys watch those videos as well. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video of American Truck Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Let me know what you thought of the GTA 6 trailer. Obviously, everybody's hyped up about it. Everybody's stoked to see uh, more footage from it. Me being one of them as well. So, yeah, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care.